Hey there, this is Edwin Bray, and today is June 2nd, 2012. Um, this video is going to talk about um, our St. Bernard Catholic School.com email address. So, as I mentioned before, um, all faculty and staff will be given an email address, and you can actually use this email address um, for emails related to school. So, for example, you can use it on the website, so if someone needs to email you, they'll email you at that address. And what it's going to be set up to do is actually forward to your own email address, whether you use Google, Gmail, um, or Yahoo, or Hotmail, etc. Um, the reason being we're setting up the forwarding piece is because if we actually wanted a, a dedicated mailbox, it would cost us money. So rather than that, we're just using forwarding, which will forward to your existing email account. What's a good thing though about it is when you get the email within your email client depending on what you're using you when you reply to it you can specify it's coming from your at St. Bernard Catholic School dot com web, uh, email address so it's not going to show your Gmail uh, email address for example so to set this up um, this example is going to be Gmail and I'll make another video for Yahoo so if you go here to settings up on the right top corner and then click settings you'll come to the settings page and then what you want to do is click on accounts and import and then there's a section called send mail as so here you can see by default you'll see your at gmail.com um, address um, you can see here I've actually already added the ebray at St. Bernard Catholic School .com, um, address. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is I'm going to add another address just so you can have an idea of the steps. So say for example you only have your first one, the, the one for the account which is at gmail.com. There shouldn't be anything here. What you want to do is click add another email address you own. Then you'll get a window here and you just specify the name you want to appear um, when you send an email out so I'll leave it as ebray and then the email address so um, I'm gonna type in my work email address which is Edwin Bray at Phillips dot com and then here I'm gonna click next I don't think you have to worry about that leave that there as uh, default next step okay on this page um, just leave it as send through Gmail and then it says easier to set up and then click next step and then it says before you can mail as edwin.bray at phillips.com we need to verify you own this email address so what it's gonna do you hit verification send verification and what it's going to do is it's going to send an email to edwin.bray at phillips.com because it's assuming you own you have access to that email account so you can get the verification code so let me log into my work email So I'm logged in, and then you can see um, you click on that, and it'll give you the con here is the confirmation code. So when you send it, for example, um, in that field, rather than putting Edwin Bray at Phillips.com, you want to put um, your St. Bernard email address, which would be whatever at St. Bernard Catholic School.com. When it sends that verification email you'll actually only have to go click your inbox to get um, the verification code because I already have this address going to the, your inbox so once you have that verification code uh, let's go here oh there you go and when you go to the settings you'll have to click verify and then enter that code click verify and there you go so now it's activated so now, what's a good thing is you click your inbox. So now you can compose the email, 
and you'll notice here in the front field there's going to be a drop down and you can select which email address you want to appear when you send an email to someone so say for example I'm going to email a parent I'm going to select I'm going to send from ebray at stbernardcatholicschool.com and then the parent's email address and then whatever the message is so when I click send and send this email the parent will only see that it came from this address they won't have my personal email address for Gmail they'll only see this address so um, I hope this video is valuable for those of you that use Gmail um, I'm gonna have a follow-up uh, video on setting up Yahoo with the same functionality alright thank you very much bye bye